Yo guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Ferrari Le Mans Guide today. So, today we did a 354.502 and I think that might be the fastest time I've done in these guides so far. We're coming up to the, the qualifying week, so once I've got all this out and if I can improve on times and show you guys a better lap, I'll be sure to re-upload that probably after I've done my qualifying more than likely. But if it helps you out in any way, let me know. I'm going to get straight into the telemetry part right now, so I'll catch you in a few. So here we go guys, starting the lap now with the telemetry up. So as you already know, the first corner is pretty much the exact same. This car also uses no TCS, so you do want to be a bit more careful. But still, you want to, with this one you want to get your tyres all the way onto the kerb. It helps out a lot and you keep it tight on the outside. And also you want to take as much kerb as you possibly can there. And the same here, take as much as you can possibly without losing too much speed. And then carrying down into uh, this left hand rear, again, stay tight, stay to the wide line. And then you want to dig in deep, well, in, dig deep inside as much as you possibly can. And again, two tyres over on this kerb once again. And then beelining it to get the two tyres on the left hand side over the white line, tap the brakes, get it aimed and pointed, and just go. Coming into the first small sand now. Also guys, be sure to go check out DDM Raw for the tune, really, really nice guy, would have been up at the start of the video, but very cool guy, he's been giving me tunes for all of them, so yeah, sweet. Also I want to give a big shout out to uh, Alderwolf for this video, as he went and gave me the thumbnail, he actually went around and f did, did it all for me. So yeah, coming into the first most second corner, again, this car, no TCS, yeah, so you can get it turned in a bit quicker, and you want to get two tyres up in there again. And then two tyres over on the left here again, just, just constantly making sure that you use the, all of the curves of this car. The tune seems perfect for the for the curves, just rides them all perfectly. I probably could have taken more time out of it if I was a bit more confident in taking a lot more curve. So do a bit of trial and error with this tune if you're driving a Ferrari. You know, going proper, you know. Take more curve and take less curve. So coming to the second more sun, straight away you can see I'm already turning. Already turning now. And I've got the two tyres. Look at that. I've got I've got the back end stepping out a little bit, but I've got the back end stepping out because I would have been dirty otherwise. And then coming here, got the back end stepping out a little bit again, and then powering out wide. And then that's still clean. So you're laughing. As soon as you can get them two more sand corners perfect, you are on for an absolute banger. And obviously touch rouge. You're on for an absolute banger then, but then you've also got to get the rest of the laps perfect. So come down to more sand corner, I think I actually mess up here. So this is another part where I thought you could have gained like a tenth for two. Right, let's see how close I am to the wall. Yeah, I'm not even that close to the wall, look at that. Didn't take as much curb, and so take away from that as much as you want. I probably should have had like two, maybe three tenths there if I got close to the curb and got the power quicker. Yeah hard one to say really but I stayed far to the right here and it seemed to help me out I don't know why but it seemed to be that staying far off to the right there was quicker because you're cutting off more of the circuit I don't know weird and then uh, coming down to Indianapolis you tap that wait coming down into Indianapolis sorry you want to drop it down into fifth about here drop it down to fifth and then take as much cable as you possibly can coming in and then, uh, and then uh, this one here takes as much as possible you can as well there and then powering through and then oh no he's rode on the corner you want to go through tack the brakes no taking the curb on the outside and then take as much as you can on the inside and then power through I actually work the back out, end out there sometimes and it works out better so yeah and then powering up to Porsche curves now this I was a bit 50 50 again the Gears are deceiving, but I stick with fifth. I use fifth all the way through Porsche curves until the final three corners. So here I'm in fifth. You can also use fourth if you really, really wanted to, but I felt like fifth kept the gears more. And coming up here, you want to just keep the power down. Just make sure you cut that out inside curb, cut the outside curb, cut the inside curb here. And then you want to break, get it down to fourth. I could have made up for more time here as well. Maybe two, three times there. I could have kept it tighter, but no. I've got this perfect here. Tap the brakes there, going in there, and then you're powering through. Then the four chicanes though, this is a one where I feel like, yeah, 
there was a lot of time here to be made in the Ferraris. So again, getting up on the kerb again here, not as much as you were in the Aston Martin though, and taking as much of the kerb as you possibly can, slight tap of brakes there, and taking as much as you can there, powering through to second, second forward chicane, and then take as much as you possibly can on the kerbs, and then power through to the end. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you're enjoying the videos. And uh, comment what you'd like to see next. And I'll catch you again next time. Peace.